This is video two on creating a new patient as well as capturing a corneal topography with your MedMon E300. Start by creating a new patient in the top left hand corner clicking on the new button. Enter in your patient details, last name, first name, tab to the date of birth and using the arrow keys you can scroll through day, month and year or you can click on the pull down menu and scroll through to find the appropriate month and date of birth. With the arrow keys you can tab over to the year or click your cursor on the year and enter the appropriate year of birth. Next you could click on clinical and enter any procedures such as LASIK that this may, patient may have. Um, you could click on conditions to select any conditions that apply. You could create your own categories to separate your patients into different groups. Any one of these columns can be changed to add specific procedures, conditions, or categories that you would like specific for your practice. You can also enter in the patient Rx in this window. It's not required, but if you were designing contact lenses from the MedMont contact lens module, if you enter the Rx here, it automatically imports every time you create a contact lens from the module of the software. You can also click on comments and add any additional information on the patient. When you're done, click save and the patient will be created on the database side of the window on the left hand side. Once that patient is highlighted in blue, to capture topography, click on the corneal topography icon along the top. Once the capture window is up, you'll notice a live video running in the bottom left hand corner. Take your joystick and moving the joystick left or right, you can center that green crosshair to the apex ring of the placido reflection off the calibration ball or off the eye. The red line tells you how close or far away you are. While the red line is at the top of the runway, the instrument is too far away from the eye. While the red line is at the bottom of the runway, the instrument is too close to the eye. Move the instrument back until the red line lines up on top of the green crosshair. Place the green crosshair by moving the joystick, bringing the two, both the distance indicator, the red line, and the green crosshair controlled by the joystick over the central ring. Once the two line up over the central ring, you'll notice the instrument automatically captures. You do not need to click a capture button. The instrument is a continuously running video that automatically grabs images when they are ideal. You'll note that along the top we now have four images presented from 99% through 99%. The rightmost image will always be your best percentage capture or the highest confidence um, the instrument has in the reading you've taken. Anything over 95 is considered valid. So any readings above 95 and you may save those to the file. Anything below 95 you want to continue to better center the instrument to idealize the capture. Before saving, make sure that you right click, select your zoom tool and zoom in on the central 10 to 15 rings. You want to be sure that there isn't any tear film breakup that happened during the point when that photo was taken. Tear film breakup will distort the accuracy of the topographer by distorting the rings. When the rings are not parallel and even, the instrument could have extrapolation error or it could have error in calculating the shape or elevation of the eye. If the rings are parallel and even, such as you see here, this would be a quality reading. You can click save and now that map is saved into the patient file. 
Nothing is in the patient file until you click Save. If you're not satisfied with the images, click Clear Images and go back in and capture again. Capturing on the human eye is very fast. Just simply center that green crosshair and that red distance indicator. It should take only seconds with an experienced user. At present we're capturing on the calibration ball. This is an excellent way to learn how to do the calibration when you're new to the Medmont topographer. The calibration ball doesn't move and it doesn't blink like the human eye and it doesn't have moving tear film like the human eye. So this is an excellent way to capture and improve your skills prior to capturing on patients. Make sure again that with each capture you take you zoom in and ensure that the central rings look parallel and even. On the calibration ball of course the rings will be utterly parallel and even. Click Save if you're satisfied with your image, and that image has now been saved to the patient file. This concludes the video on creating a new patient and capturing a corneal topography.